Are we ready to do the uh, demonstration of the? Yeah. Um, just talk about it quickly first, just to give you the background. So, uh, my understanding of how this all came about is there was a kind of a upstart software company that was looking for a variety of um, kind of vertical markets where they could show how their um, software application was working. And one of the uh, things that they kind of stumbled upon was the town of Arlington. Uh, they had a connection there, and an uh, individual there was looking for a better way to present financial information, not just for uh, decision-making you know, planning purposes, but also for the citizenry. So um, that was kind of the genesis of this visual budget software. Um, it was intended to promote transparency, uh, to promote engagement of the citizenry by making it pretty easy for people to see where their tax dollars were going locally. Again, to facilitate planning um, and presentation and part of um, Arlington's ongoing commitment to open government. So a uh, woman, Annie, that I spoke with is actually an employee, a former employee of the town of Arlington in the finance office. Um, she was really part of this whole initiative. So um, they had just sent me, the board has this, just a few pages of PowerPoint in your material, um, mm -hmm. just because I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to see it on the screen or not. But So I don't know the best way to do this. Um, you have this in your packets. These are just screenshots mm -hmm. that were handed out today. It really was. When I went through it, it was so easy. But we need to put the proper information in to make it work. Right. You know? So we don't have a way to um, display it for everybody to see. So <laughs> do you want to we just like move it down? Yeah, just, so I'll so. move this over here. Do you, you want to come see? Yeah, we can turn it around or something. But. Oh, there's one over there. Yeah, I'm just want to tell people at home the website. Sure. Yeah. So it's um www obviously dot arlingtonvisualbudget.org. Okay, that's the website. Or if you just Google Arlington Visual Budget, it will come right up as well. I'll do it right now. Okay. So what this is doing is it's we taking rotate that 90 degrees. You gonna zoom in on it? Yeah. yeah. And everybody can see it on the big TV set. Let's see. That's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can see where my mouse is. Um, so basically, the way this works is it's not incredibly sophisticated, complex software. Okay. So um, what it's doing is it's taking um, just a data feed which is a very simple file that we know can be generated right out of um, our VADAR system. It's just a common delimited file, and it's taking historical data organized by departmental budgets. And then it's categorizing you know, revenue in the, in the fashion that we would expect to see of property taxes, taxes, local receipts, and then reserve funds. So if you're wanting to see what the revenues are, Okay. See how that's displayed, Richard? Problem is, I can't see what I'm looking at. Do you mind if I swap it either? Oh, go ahead. I can't see either, so. Okay. You want to use my phone? Yes, I should use your window. It's in the orange. 2%. Yep. Right. So, what a taxpayer can do is say, okay, I'm paying. Now pick a number, $4,000 in property taxes. And then they want to know where that money is actually going. It will take that and actually extrapolate it out. Extrapolate it out. Yeah. <clears throat> you have to click on it. Arlington's website. No, I got there. So. Okay. So you can see here that it's got the schools, you know, X percentage of the expenses, town departments, capital, pensions, insurance. Um, so there are a variety of ways to actually display the data. I 
can see on the screen. Okay. So you can click into any one of these things and say, okay, how much is the schools costing you? Well, out of the $4,000 tax bill, it's costing you $1,584.96. Um, you know, how about the capital budget we were talking about earlier? You know, where's it coming from? And then it also displays a trend analysis down here, so you can go back over the years and see year after year, you know, how is that mapping? Is it going up? Is it going down? So and those numbers adjust if you drag on that. Yep. Okay. So if you want to go to revenues, you can take a look at the revenues and say, okay, 105 million is coming from property taxes. How much is state aid? How much is local receipts? And again, go back and look at the trends and see where what's been happening. So, I mean, I'm just thinking for, for a couple of um, reasons. Number one, just for us, instead of having those Excel spreadsheets that David has to manually put together, if we can have this fed right off of the VADAR system, and then we would get kind of this more visual view of our budget, um, particularly the trend over the years, then, you know, it's the initial input, and then year after year, you're just updating it for the current year information. And then secondly, <coughs> the conversation we were having in Triboard, if we are going to be going back at some point and engaging the rest of the town, this is a really nice way to kind of give everybody an overview of, you know, how much money are we bringing in, what are the sources of revenue, and then how is it being expended. And it really changes the conversation, I think, if we're talking about where people want to commit resources. If they find out for the sake of argument that, you know, public safety costs X, um, and then we're talking about, well, what if we did want to increase public safety's budget by so much? People want to know, well, what's it going to cost me? And so when you're talking about um, a value proposition, right. is it worth it to you to spend X more dollars on the schools based on what it is they're looking for? Is it, X, is it worth it to you to spend X number of dollars more and I'm saying more, it could also be less. Some people may say, you've got to be kidding me. I'm paying that much out of my tax for this service. So I think it will really, it could happen. It can happen. Probably will happen. Um, but I just think it's a nice way to. Um, and that's going to be on the town website, so people can pull it up anytime, day or night. Day or night. Might work against us. <laughs> well, it, can't, it, can't work, it really can't work against you because if it oh, yes, if it do. saves you three questions on town meeting floor, <laughs> it saves you time. You know, it separates the insurance, the pensions, the overall uh, overall stabilizations. Have you had a chance right. to look at it? it? It's it's pretty informative. Yeah. You know? Now you think they'll and be able to kind of that right off the radar? Trying to head here. Yeah, that's yeah. right here. Yep, so um, the way that this would work, I, I spoke with Annie and she said if we want to contract with them to just come in and do it, and all they would need to do is just get this file out of, out of there, and this mm -hmm. really isn't hard, um, they will do it soup to nuts for $3,000. And she said there are other organizations that have just done it on their own. So, yeah. well, I was just actually thinking about that when you was talking about UMass. Mm -hmm. Creating the file is not hard. Making sure that the file that gets created has the right mapping and it's meaningful. That's where she said that, and again, this woman is a former um, finance uh, person from the town of Arlington, so she knows her way around the chart of accounts. She said usually the pushback that she gets is that the town accountant or finance director, whoever the person is, doesn't really have the time to sit with them. But she said that's what's involved. Um, she said I'll have it up and running in a, in a day. There's no question. Okay. Do we want to try? How do we want to try and do this? We want to try, ask you mask if you mask if they can help us, or do you want to go okay. to the three thousand dollar? Th I think you. I think it wouldn't hurt to ask before you spend the three thousand dollars. I'm sure they have some IT people up there that can. And I think that's <laughs> the point of know the their way around. Yeah. 
I, th I think they have a point of contact with the visual budget place. That oh, do they? To, hmm? Well, wouldn't hurt to ask. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we'll just ask them. Give them a, is there a formal way of asking now? Do they want like a, a memo from us or? A um, well, let's let's try the good old fashioned way of just asking them and yeah. see if there's anything more that they need. Uh, yeah. So we'll be uh, in touch with Nancy Buffon and Tony Morales. Okay. 